because you got rid of the things that don't align with you. You got rid of the things that make you unhappy. Hi, my loves. Welcome back to another video. I'm Nicole L and I create content around girl advice, travel, business, lifestyle, and everything to inspire you and motivate you and helping you get everything you want out of life. So if that sounds like you and that's something you're interested in, make sure you guys go subscribe and join the family and come along with me on this journey of self-development, self-love, self-worth, and just becoming her. So let's get into the video. The topic we are discussing today is how to be magnetic and get attention in your life. How to have that magnetic aura that people gravitate towards you that are actually the people that you want to be around. Let's just get straight into the video. So get your notepads out and let's chit chat. The thing I wanna talk about of how to have a magnetic aura is that you have to do the inner work spiritually, mentally, and physically. You have to do the inner work to figure out what's stopping you from having such a magnetic aura. You have to figure out what problems have you went through that inner child and what you are lacking and what you need to eventually let go. You're holding on to grudges. If you're so upset with other people in your life, the light within you is not going to shine. You are constantly going to be trying to be like someone else. And instead of just embracing your natural aura and your natural light to attract the people that you want in your life. So I want you guys to start working on you, yourself spiritually. I want you guys to start working on your mental health and help you become more of a happier person. When you start doing the inner work, you are going to see the light within yourself. Other people are going to say, oh my goodness, you are glowing. What are you doing differently? Your attitude is different, your energy is different, and your aura will just exude light. And people will come to you as if you are a magnet once you do that inner work. So don't, skip over this part how many people try to skip doing the inner work because the inner work is hard it makes you look at the things that you don't want to look at it makes you work on the parts of yourself that you may not like and it forces you to look in the mirror to fix the things that you have been avoiding for such a long time so don't avoid doing the inner work this is a great stage for you to be in if you are looking to become more magnetic, if you are always constantly trying to figure out why that girl, like when she walks in a room, people are just gravitating towards her because her, she's done the inner work and she just exudes energy that is confident, loves herself and knows her self-worth and her self-value. So once you do the inner work, you are gonna be able to have that magnetic aura and that magnetic energy around you as well, which is why I wanted to talk about you attract who you are. When you are not being your true self, you are going to constantly attract the people that are not meant to be in your life. And you're going to attract other people that are not true to themselves as well, because that's what you are attracting. In order for you to attract everything that's meant for you, you have to start being true to yourself. You have to start showing who you really are. And you have to show up as your authentic self. This is going to make you so magnetic and you are also going to repel the people that are not meant to be in your life. When you try to put on a facade and you try to be someone else, you are constantly going to be attracting the wrong people. You're constantly going to be running into problems. You are constantly going to be questioning yourself and you are not just going to feel good about yourself and you're not going to be magnetic when you walk into a room what you need to focus on because when you are putting on a persona and you are acting like someone else that may inspire you and may motivate you and you want to be more like them but you haven't done that in the work you are still struggling with stuff from your past you are holding grudges and you are putting on an act to attract certain people when that's not who you are and you have to be okay with who you are so that you can attract your own tribe so that you can be surrounded with people that uplift you and motivate you and inspire you and things just become easy for you. You're happy to be around a certain group of friends. You're happy to talk to more people because you're gonna be more magnetic when you walk into the room because you're confident of who you are, you are true to yourself and people are going to just gravitate towards you. 
So when you don't be yourself and you're not your true self, you're going to attract the people that are not their true selves as well. Someone that's putting on an act, someone that's putting on a persona, that's someone that's putting on a facade and pretending, and pretending to be someone that they're not. So in order for you to become magnetic and have that magnetic aura, you're going to need to be yourself. If you are a very nice person, you're going to attract nice people. If you are someone that is pretending to be nice, you're going to attract fake people. It's that simple. You attract what you are. You have to know who you are. You have to believe in yourself to actually be magnetic when you walk in the room. When you see someone, for example, Maybe you were at an event and someone, this woman, she walked through the door. So many people are gravitating towards her. It's because she's done the inner work. She is who she says she is. And she attracts people with that same energy. She captivates you. And you're just like, wow, girl, like, I want to be your friend. I want to talk to you. I want to connect with you. And those are the traits that you want to have. Just showing up as yourself and just being okay with yourself. To get the attention that you want. Because attention is currency. It's 2024 and content is all about grabbing someone's attention. And you can literally start a business from content. You can work from home just by grabbing someone's attention. Attention is currency. What I want you guys to make sure is that you start attracting the right attention. You can only do this by showing up as yourself. You can only do this by showing up with yourself because what you're going to do is you're going to attract the wrong attention. You're going to have more people coming into your circle, coming into your life that don't align with you. And that's something you don't want to do because you're going to be going backwards. You're going to find yourself constantly in trouble. You're going to find yourself very unhappy and you're going to find yourself lost. And that's something you don't want to do when you're on this journey of self-development, self-love, embracing your feminine energy and just becoming her and becoming her means becoming you allowing your true self to come out allowing you to express your interests this is something that i've seen so many times in other people and other friends is that they try to be someone else when they first they should have just been themselves so many people used to ask me this how are you doing and i was like i just show up as myself that's the only thing i can do it's so much harder when you are trying to be someone else. You can't keep up. You literally can't keep up. You're drained. You're mentally stressed out and you're lost and you're struggling. Like now you're putting yourself in a horrible mental state because you can never feel okay. You're never feeling okay. You're never feeling satisfied and you aren't fulfilled because you're doing something that doesn't align with who you are inside. You're putting on that you love this, you love that when actually you don't. So you're not going to attract the right people in your life. You're only going to attract the people that are doing the same thing. So you have no idea who these people are and you're not going to be happy and you're going to find yourself constantly in this cycle of starting over and just not being in a good place. The moment you allow your authentic self to be free and you let her out, it's going to be the most freeing moment. I'm getting emotional because it's so true. From my experience, when I started my YouTube channel, yes, I love travel and I do love beauty stuff, but the, the one thing that truly aligns with who I am is creating this type of content for you guys, helping you stay motivated and inspired to literally get anything you want out of life. And I love, love doing it and I feel so aligned with it. And once I just allowed myself to be and allow my real thoughts and my real interests to literally flow into the world, so many opportunities have been opening for me. I've been attracted to the right people. I've let go of different friendships. I let go of different relationships. And now I'm attracting the right people in my life. I'm no longer attracting people that are pretending to be my friend. I'm no longer attracting people that don't want what's best for me. And I'm attracting people that have similar interests in me. So it's easier to get along. It's easier to plan things. It's easier to talk to them. It's easier to open up. It's easier to be free instead of when you have people in your life that are not meant to be there and you are not showing who you really are. You're never going to feel comfortable. 
you're never going to feel at ease. You're never going to have that freedom of like, ah. And I'm telling you guys, like, when you have that moment of you're just like, oh my goodness, like, it's going to be that aha moment where it just clicks for you. And you're like, I should have done this a long time ago. For example, when I start showing up as myself and stop trying to pretend or being what other people wanted me to be and I didn't fit in this type of bubble, I literally attracted people that I love to be around. For example, I remember in my, one of my previous relationships is that he was like, oh, I want you to be this certain way. And I was a very young guy. So I didn't know, I didn't know myself. I didn't know my self-worth. I didn't know my, I didn't have a lot of self-love for myself. And I was very young, still trying to figure things out. So I was trying to juggle being two people. And when I had that moment of like, I can't do this because one person's like, oh, you can't like Taylor Swift if you like Travis Scott. And I'm like, I like both. When I stopped listening and allowing other people's opinions of me to dictate who I was and who I should show up as, I became my more authentic self. I became doing more things that I love. I started having more friends that just had the same interests as me and a lot of doors will start to open up for you guys. So be yourself. If you like anime, you like anime. If you like going out to eat all the time, like your girl, you like going out to eat all the time. You should not have to compromise who you are just because someone made, that you meet in your life, they're like, I like to stay in. I don't. And it's okay. The more you allow yourself to be yourself, the more you're going to say when you meet people, we're not compatible. And that's okay. Everyone in your life is not going to be compatible. And that's life. That's just how things work. And you're just going to flourish in the, to the person that you truly want to be. And all your goals are going to happen. Everything is going to happen for you. I know it. You just have to allow it. Bring those things into your life, regardless of it resonates with the person that you're hanging out with right now, or if it resonates with your friends. Maybe those friends right now, are they are temporary. Everyone comes into your life for a reason and a season. And you have to be okay with being. You will find your tribe. Once you take those necessary steps, you're going to be very magnetic. And people that love that type of energy are going to be drawn to you. Your aura is going to exude. Your energy is going to be better. You're going to feel better about yourself. And you're going to just create a positive energy around you. And once you do this, you're going to attract your tribe. And you are going to repel the people that don't align with you, that don't have the same values, that don't share the same interests. And you are going to be better and oh. this is something you want. You want to repel people away because you want to surround yourself with like-minded people like yourself, someone that is more positive, someone that loves to just live in the moment. If you are a mean girl, you're a mean girl, okay? Be mean. You're going to attract other mean girls and you will feel like, okay, these are my girls. And if you are a nice person and you're very positive, you're going to attract more people that are positive into your life. And they're going to uplift you. And they're not going to drain you. They're not going to take your energy. It's the be who you are. And it's okay to be who you are. Everyone is different. We all are unique. We all bring different things to the table. So just let them shine. And repel the people that, look, you're like, all right, we not it. You not it. We not it. We not mixing. And that's okay. And everything will start to make sense when you start taking these action steps of doing the inner work being who you truly are, allowing your interests to show up in your life and being okay with walking away. This is something that is very, very crucial. You have to allow yourself and give yourself the ability to walk away from things and people that no longer serve you. Once you have the ability to do this, Make room. You're going to be making room for the things that are really meant for you in your life. You're going to make room for the things because you got rid of the things that don't align with you. You got rid of the things that make you unhappy. You got rid of the things that no longer served you. I want you to implement these steps so that you can become more magnetic and you can have a magnetic aura and really attract the people, the abundance, everything into your life that you deserve because you deserve it. And you can have it all. There is so much abundance in this world that can go around for all of us. So 
practice this. The more you show that you're not confident in who you are, people can sense that. People can sense where you're fake. People can sense when you're not your true self. People can sense where you're putting on a facade. That makes people not want to be around you because they can't trust you. You can't trust yourself. How can they trust you? How can they be more welcome into your energy? So you need to focus on being yourself, not trying to be somebody else, because I promise you, there is someone out there for everyone. There is a tribe out there for everyone. There is a spouse out there. There are friends. There are extended families. It's out there and you can have it all. You can be happy and you will be magnetic when you walk into the room and the people that are supposed to be in your life and want to get to know you and want to talk to you when you grab their attention, it's going to show. Which brings me into more of a personal of how you present yourself and how you carry yourself as well. Yes, you have to exude confidence. You have to be confident in who you are and you have to be confident that it's okay to be who I am. You also have to be a good person too. You cannot be a horrible person thinking that you're just gonna be very magnetic. If you're a person always in a conversation that's always ready to respond, that's always thinking about the next thing, that's always trying to relate to someone, you are not truly listening to them. And this is, comes with practice. If you are a talker, I get it, I like to talk too. Sometimes you have to take a step back and just listen to that other person that you're connecting with. Let them know that they're seen, let them know that they're valued, and let them know that you hear them. This is what people look for where people are very magnetic. So some people can grab the attention, but once they are around certain people, people sense the aura that they are very selfish, they are self-entitled, which repels them away. So you want to start being more nice, being more kind, being more open, and allowing things and allowing people to be able to express themselves with you and have a genuine interest. So you have to be genuinely interested in the person. And if you're not, maybe you guys are not meant to be, not meant to connect or whatever, but have a genuine kind heart. That's what makes you more magnetic. So if you have to work on your inner self to actually be more open, to be more kind, that is step number one. Which brings me to the last, the last thing, which makes someone be, have a magnetic aura is that they validate themselves. They're not looking around the room for someone to compliment them. They are not looking around to make sure that their outfit is nice and they're, they're fetching for comments and they're just looking for their approval. The moment you validate yourself and you validate your actions, you validate your interest to validate yourself and build your confidence. When someone is magnetic, they exude confidence. They are not looking for someone to give them compliments. They are not looking for someone to validate them. They are not looking for someone to validate their outfit. They know their outfit is great. They know their hair is cute because it's what they want is what they like. So I want you guys, when you walk into a room and you're walking into a new networking event or you're walking into a new job, confidence and know that you don't need anyone to validate you ever again. Implement these steps to become more magnetic, have a more magnetic aura, and get the right attention that you want in life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Nicole L. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I also do have a couple resources down for you to help you, which is my Becoming Her bundle. It comes with 50 affirmations, access to my exclusive community where I give you daily motivation and inspiration to help you throughout your day and also my step-by-step -step guide to reinvent and rebrand yourself and your business if you're interested i'll have that link below for you for only 27 dollars. and also i do have one more opportunity i will be hosting a trip to greece from may 25th to the 31st all the details will be linked below if you want to come and join us it's going to be other entrepreneurs and other creators and like-minded women like myself if you love to travel. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. And if you have any topics that you want me to discuss, make sure you guys leave a comment below. And let's chit-chat in the comments, and I'll see you guys soon.